Guys, um, by request from some of the members on the forums and on Facebook, I'm going to show you how I made the uh, tool for. Um, find it. The tool, uh, here we go. The tool for the dips. Uh, excuse me. So, tools for basically the installation of. Uh, this guy, the white line bushings for the Z, for the diff. So this is gonna be roughly um, the measurements because I threw away the paper that I had for this. I used to keep it here on my notebook, but whatever, it's out. So, and I don't have a micrometer with me. So if I remember correctly, these are one half bolts. So it appears that they are. Flip this over so it's easier. Um, they're little bit under so they're give or take you can see what it is right there and I have it aligned right there so I'll uh, search it again but that's pretty much the thickness that you're trying to look for in other words uh, let me find the, the diff I mean the bushing here uh, if I even have it oh, here we go This is the old bushing. So you see it's tons of shit. So what you're looking for, let me unscrew this. Right, sorry about that. But what you're looking for is that this goes right through. Okay? That's what you're looking for. And this will do the same on the other ones. So this And sorry for the movement, but I don't have a GoPro or anything to attach it with. This is a little, this is, and I'm sorry that I'm bad with measurements, but that's a little bit of, what, I, I'm sorry, it's a little bit older, let me get it right there. That's about what you need for this bushing. And these also work for the uh, other ones. But anyway, for the other ones, I use the, uh, little harbor freight press over here to do it so after you get these bolts you're gonna need several lengths um, I have one more bolt that I'm using somewhere else so I basically bought three lengths one that is approximately uh, eight inches give or take the other one is this is the one I used for the arms this is four and a half about four and a half inches and then the last one which is the medium one is about six inches in length um, and of course with the appropriate nuts and a bunch of washers so and you can see different washers here and then this plate um, I found it in the in the um, conduit section of Home Depot so where they have all the basically anything that runs uh, the section where they run cables electrical cable stuff like that construction and it's about half uh let's see one fourth of an inch thick okay so it's pretty thick and you can see there's a little bit of a bend to it from the pressure so i should have went ahead and gotten two so my suggestion is get two sandwich them together and run it like that and basically uh the way this tool works is that um this is the puller Okay, and then these are the arms that you adjust for the length that you want to be pulling. Okay, you're also going to need uh, deep sockets for this. So you're going to need uh, a couple of one inch extensions and then some of these thick sockets, like that, as you see here. So you will need those guys in order to take this guy out. Um, these, let me take this guy out so you can see it. These are the set that I use to pull. So as you can see, I have one that is just about 
the diameter of inside and outside of the uh, actual bushing. And then these guys are the bigger sandwich ones. In this case, it doesn't really matter because once you, um, this is the little coupling or uh, sleeve that goes along with it. Once you drill it and you slice it, which is what I did here, um, you can just use these guys, just sandwich them together, put like four or maybe three of them like that, and then use that to push the to push this piece out or this one depending on how easy it is but I'm, in my case I ended up pulling this guy out and this sleeve was left over in which in case I just took a little chisel and I knocked this guy out so which is fairly simple um, so yeah there you go um, I hope I'm sorry that I couldn't be more detailed because I actually lost the paper with the measurements that I took um, I'm gonna see if I find it if I do I will post it on the video description so you guys can see um, how to build your own. This cost me about 13 bucks, give or take. And remember, get try to get a spare um, because everybody, every car is different. So if you have rust, please use. Uh, if you have rust the night before, get some of this PB Blast. This stuff will save your life blast the shit out of all the bushings on it and all the bolts and leave it overnight and then the next day start the job um and that'll save you and as usual get a um well i showed you you need one of these uh, which i picked up from harbor freight wait it's down there i can't i'm not gonna take it out because it's all the way in the back but it's basically a reciprocating saw and you need Uh, you need uh, two of these guys. Well, I used that's for wood. That's for my wood stuff. But that's basically the one that I used, which I got at like, Walmart for like three bucks. So it's for steel, um, and that's the wood one that I got just for just for me cutting wood stuff. Um, yeah, there you go. So yeah, that's all you need. Um, hopefully this will have helped you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Try to update with the actual measurements of this and uh this is a reminder for me that i do need to get a uh, micrometer to measure stuff because as you can see i'm horrible with reading rulers so hope this guy i hope this was some help for you guys all right take care